Good afternoon, everybody. Me and Dima are out in the curls right now, and we're gonna fix them up. Cows always seem to break boards off of the walls throughout the course of the winter time, and it's just something to maintain every year. Once a year, maybe twice a year, we'll go in the curls and then nail some new boards in there. So, grab the saw, a couple of hammers, and nails, and uh, try and fix these things up. So we're behind the corrals right now and you can see really good how the corrals are made. These are going I think four feet into the ground and they're just used railway ties. You can see some spikes and where the metal from the rail or the train track actually went over there. And you can just buy these, they're usually, I don't know, eight, ten bucks a piece used. And uh, these are rough cut six by sixes or two by sixes and then we just hammer the two by sixes onto them uh, for the windbreakers. We got a bunch of spare material back here behind the corrals. We have all used railway ties, two by sixes, and then the bigger rough cut two by sixes. So whatever we need to our heart's desire, we could probably build a whole new corral with everything that's back here. But uh, this was all just left over from when we built those corrals. You can see all the boards, they're pretty rough. They call them rough cut, they're a lot cheaper than the smooth ones. So Dima just asked like where do all these broken boards, do they end up in the field or do you kind of take them out by hand in the spring when you see them? And the ones that we do see we'll take out by hand obviously, we don't want to spread them over the field. But some of these boards do make it out on the field and then if you see them when you're driving past in the tractor or something, you just pick them up and take them back to the yard. i put them in my pocket. So this wall in between the two corrals here has quite a few loose boards or not all the way out but they're kind of getting pushed in. It's probably because that's a steer pen and they're just trying to get into the heifer pen over here. Trying to push through naughty buggers eh? They like the sound of the hammer it looks like. So this wall is probably the worst in all of our corrals. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boards missing and just this little strip here. It is also one of our oldest corrals though, so it's kind of to be expected. Hit them all loose from behind here, it's a lot easier. Who's this girl? Comes right up, she just wants to be on camera. You gonna help us fix some curls? Or you can have the hammer. You don't want it? All right, so we've taken out all of the broken boards off of all the walls and the nine curls here. Probably gonna need 25 new boards at least, so I think it's worth grabbing the skids here with the pallet forks loading it up like that instead of walking them all down there. So the one corral with the excessive amount of broken boards, we're just gonna drive the skid steer in there. Cause we need like 15 boards in here. So you guys can see those walls 
on the back corner there these curls the wind breaks are quite a bit taller and all of our boards are the same length here so we're gonna have to cut these probably two feet off the bottom to get these all to line up but what we're gonna do instead we're just gonna hammer them all in even at the bottom and then we're gonna use our circle saw here and cut them off at the top even should be good you cannot leave anything in one of these corrals without the cows messing it all up within 30 seconds. They're so curious. They want to smell and lick and taste everything they can. Look at them buggers. It's just wood, my dude. These cows, I tell you guys, unreal. We just put this board up against the wall. They hooked it in between there and just snapped it in half. Brand new board. Unreal. So we were going to use the cordless uh, circle saw, but I figured this chainsaw is going to be a lot easier. It's another cordless battery powered tool. It's pretty sweet. These cordless tools are pretty sweet, hey? They have a, I think they have a cordless hammer now. It's like a little, you hold it in your palm and you put it up to a nail and it kind of like hammers it in. We should get one of those, talk to the boss man, see what he thinks. So just like that, we got all the corrals fixed up. I think we needed 30 of those uh, boards in total to replace, so not too bad. I'm gonna go bring this thing back to the sound room because they're gonna need to use this thing to scrape pretty quickly here. And then we got to clean up all of the broken boards. You can see a pretty decent sized pile over there. But we'll probably just use the loader for that because we got to get rid of them. Dad's over there in the wheel loader. He's spreading gravel around our manure pit there. I'm going to ask him if he wants to drive through the feedlot there as I throw all the wood in there. Make it a lot easier than hopping in and out of a loader. Do you want to drive through the feedlot as I throw all the broken boards in the bucket? Yeah, this rough cut lumber is pretty nice because it's cheap, but it is not good on the hands. Probably best just to wear some gloves when you're working with this stuff. Good morning everybody. Today is the next day and we're fixing something else in the curls. Yesterday we could have blamed the broken boards on the cows, but what we're fixing today, it's my fault. I pressed it over with the loader and that is this railway tie right here. It snapped off at the bottom and now you can see this windbreak. It's pretty uneven and it's starting to fall over. So we got to get this railway tie replaced here. Quite a bit of work. We're just going to take these two whole sections out. We're going to build new ones. And we're gonna take that old railway tie right out. We got our post hole digger here for the bobcat. We'll drill a new hole, put a new post in there. So I'm just gonna use the pallet forks and try and kind of scoop these two sections out here. They should be cut all, and I should be able to just take it right out.
take out the old half out. Now I gotta clean it up, grab a new one, drop it in. pretty sweet if you let it hang all the way forward like he's gonna do here gravity makes it perfectly straight down so these new slabs that we're hammering onto this wall here they don't have to be 100% perfect length so we're just cutting 12 at a time here with the chainsaw it's working pretty good So that's our new section of fence that we replaced. Pretty easy to tell what's new and what's old. Did a couple more boards over there again. But uh, it's looking pretty good. Wish we would have done the whole wall. It would have looked way better, man. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> no, maybe not. Next, next, year. next year, yeah, next summer. That's all for today's video, guys. So subscribe and put a like behind this video and hopefully see you next video again.